we smoked a J and it fucked us up and the car has now broken down like it I don't think we can put any of this on the internet I literally haven't cooked in all of it <laughs> <laughs> hey guys so I know it's been way too long since I last posted a video it's been like a month what the hell is going on I don't know um, but I have been really really busy the past month guys it's been a lot of changes happening in my life a lot of really exciting things happening and a lot of really intense things as well so one of my best friends has moved back to the UK, which was kind of sad for me. Also, my dog was attacked by another dog, which was really, really, really tough and difficult to see. Luckily, she's okay, but that was quite tough at the time. And there's been a lot of changes happening, guys. So I've booked my tickets to Bali. For those who don't know, it's been a dream of mine to move to Bali for the longest time now. And it's finally coming true. So I've booked my tickets to Bali. I'm on my way to Bali. I'm going in about a month and a half, which is so exciting for me. Um, you guys know I've been driving Uber and I finally am done with Uber so I'm able to actually um, survive off the income I've ma I'm making online from doing my online coaching and I'm now able to stop driving Uber and survive solely from the income I'm making online which is just insane so a lot of big things happening guys um, and I will fill you in um, throughout the next few weeks I am going to get back into posting I'm so sorry um, but look it happens sometimes things happen and we just need to take a break and sometimes we just not sure what that reason is but everything happens for a reason in my eyes so today i've got a pretty exciting video for you guys this happened a few weeks ago now but basically i did another mushroom trip with my friend abby before she left for the uk um so this is what this week's video is about it's just uh, a little vlog of our experience and the things that happened um i am gonna have to fill you guys in throughout the video because we didn't get as much footage as we wanted and there was uh quite a few <laughs> intense things that happened throughout the trip that we kind of just didn't record because they were quite overwhelming so i will fill you guys in um, i hope you guys enjoy these kind of psychedelic trip videos um, i've had a few of you guys message me saying you do and that you want to see more and that you would love for me to keep uploading them whenever i do them so i'll keep that in mind without further ado let's get straight into the video shall we okay so it's been exactly a month since i tripped last time and last time we did two grams and this time we are having four grams so it's going to be a little bit more intense i'm going to see how it goes we're currently in wollongong um we've just found like a lookout point and this really flat safe area of grass and this is where we're going to be tripping we're mainly just going to be staying here i think we don't really want to be walking too far from where's the car from the car because <laughs> we've got all of our stuff there we want to be safe we want to be comfortable we don't want to be stressing uh, about anything because i remember at one point last time we walked about half an hour away from the car and i was like oh my god where are we how do we get back to the car so now we're just going to stay safe and we're going to drop them very soon and it's going to be good Whoop. Okay, so the last time, you guys remember, we ate the mushrooms in a sandwich and they were like actual dried mushrooms. This time we're going to be shotting it with water because it's ground up into powder. So I'll show you guys the powder. You can see. Nervous. Just. It's always quite nerve wracking before you take any psychedelic drug because you just don't know what to expect. So... Yeah. Let's oh. do it. We've got the butterflies. We've got our yoga set up over there. We're going to take the mushrooms and then we're going to do some yoga and meditate. So we should be coming up on the mushrooms while we're doing the yoga and meditating. And then we should probably be in another world by then. Fuck. <laughs> so it should be good. We've got our bed there in case we feel like we want to just lay down and be super safe. So we're all set to go. This is gonna taste disgusting. Mushroom tea. Oh. I don't know how we're gonna shot that. This is gonna be so bad. Oh. Does it, I don't know why we did it like this. Bro. We should have just put it in the sandwich. This was not my idea. This was her idea. This was not my idea either. This was a friend's idea. Yeah, well, it wasn't my idea. All right, cheers, mate. Happy tripping. 
Okay, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. Not that bad, you reckon? I think it's not nice, but... All right, so I'm just documenting a little bit of my own accord right now, but basically, um, at this point in the trip, everything is like green or like covered in like a green, everything is covered in like a greeny yellow like haze. Um, I think this is like, I don't know how to get this so that you can see. Fuck, this is not good. The lighting? Yeah, the lighting is just not good. The lighting in this area has been really bad. The lighting is fucked up. Oh, Alright, so I'm documenting because Taylor cannot be bothered, but basically we're at the point in our trip now, it's been like, how long? Like an hour? <laughs> She's just laughing. Um, it's been like an hour. Oh, fuck this lion, man. No, I think it's better. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, it's good in the shade. Um, it's been like an hour and we're both definitely sad. <laughs> She's just pissing, like literally what the fuck. <laughs> um, I also feel like my hand is like, I'm trying to like, <laughs> sorry, this is so weird. <laughs> Fuck, I just want to get this done. I was walking from the bathroom and I was like, had this whole like sketch like laid out. I was like, yeah, I'm going to say this, 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 and this, and do this. It's just not worked out. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just feel like I can't get my head. <laughs> fuck, covered in like a green or like yellow kind of like. <laughs> And clearly we're laughing, so there's that, but I had something like, when I was walking over, I was like, yeah, definitely want to say this, and it's just gone out of my head. I never say it Are you getting this off? Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks good, but you're just pissing. I don't know how to make this thing focused. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> I just... But when I was coming over, I was just going to come and be like... What's going to explain? I'm trying to explain without laughing. This lighting is just not good for my face. This lighting is absolutely fucked, but we're just rolling with it. And everything is starting to move at this point, for yeah. sure. I was in the cubicle then, like the bathroom cubicle. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. When you were in the bathroom, I was looking at that tree over there. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like the trees were talk, like they weren't talking to me, but they were coming out in my direction. So they like, <laughs> Sounds so fun. But basically, like, I just feel like I'm not tripping that much. I'm not, no, no, no. Taking four grams, and I'm like, is it gonna. No, I, I think this is just the beginning. I think we're yeah. still coming up. I'm like, are we still coming up? Because if we're not, like, we need to take more, clearly. Whoa, you're. I am tripping <laughs> what right is now. Going what the on? fuck? Did your, your <laughs> face just went like. What? Yeah, what the hell? What the. It, <laughs> With that lighting there, it Whoa, went like. Did, it, did that do that to you? A little bit, yeah. Whoa, I was like, I'm not tripping hard, and then that came. Yeah, it's, Whoa. it's when the lighting changes. I feel like our face faces are like coming in and out, and like that is not okay. <laughs> no fucking way! Like, what the fuck? fuck? I'm tripping balls because my face looks like it's like getting <laughs> big eyes and like my face big teeth. Whoa! <laughs> Is that happening? Is that happening? Whoa, let me see. What is going on? I don't understand. Whoa, do you see what I'm seeing? It looks like from... What like, the fuck? It looks like from, like... Um, you know, like Snapchat filter. My whole face, my cheeks look like this. You know when you put a Snapchat filter on? Whoa. And, and then you can get the ones that have like big teeth or like big yeah. ugly eyes. That is literally happening like right now. But I don't understand because it's just a camera. Yeah, and also because we were sober about three. <laughs> lines on the on the thing. What yeah, the yeah. There's fuck lines is actually there. going on. I think it's the lines that are western me out. Yeah, there's I've lines. I've got it sussed out. <laughs> I need to stop looking at this right now. 
Yes. Okay, so basically we had four grams each, which is almost more than double what we had the last time. So the last video you guys would have seen, we had just under two grams. Um, and this time we had four grams. So we thought we were literally going to be like on another planet. But three hours into the trip, I was like, I am like not tripping out that hard. Like I don't understand. Like things weren't moving as much. I definitely wasn't having many visuals. I wasn't feeling any kind of intense thoughts or emotions or anything. And I was just like, what is going on? Like I don't understand. And this trip we decided we weren't going to smoke the whole trip because we wanted to see how it would come up naturally without getting high. Um, so three hours in and I was like, do you know what? Like we've done the whole not smoking thing. Like this seems like this is it. I don't want to waste the trip. Why don't we smoke? And I was like to Abby, roll the fattest joint you have ever rolled in your entire life because we deserve it. <laughs> so she rolls this huge joint. Yes. Your duty, right? Yeah. Literally. We thought that we wouldn't be able to function as much as we are. Yeah, but we're totally fine. Like, things aren't moving as much as like we expected to. Like, <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> we've decided that we're gonna smoke a joint and see how that goes. So, yeah, and eat yeah. oranges. And eat oranges because apparently oranges bring out the trip more. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but we're gonna give it a shot. Your face looks like something from, um, what? <laughs> Snapchat when it makes Yeah. Your... My face is morphing. Like, my face is literally morphing hardcore on The this. camera trips me out, bro. Yeah. We can smoke a joint and we'll see how it goes. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> we smoked it and we were like, yeah, like we're hard bitches, like, we can take our mushrooms, like, nothing on us, whatever. <laughs> and then we smoked this massive joint and basically we were just like, boom, like, into this new world. And everything was vibrant, everything was bright, everything looked amazing. And we were just like, smack bang into this new world. And we were like, whoa, okay, so I guess the weed, you know kind of help to last time and maybe that's why we weren't feeling the trip as much this time which is kind of unfortunate and if anyone knows why this is why we needed to smoke the weed to really get us into the trip let me know like is it because we smoke weed often and our brains just kind of like used to being in that state like i'm not too sure um why that happened and it is kind of unfortunate because i would have liked to experience the mushrooms naturally um but i don't know maybe that just means we need to take more like maybe i need to take like six grams instead of four but like that's a lot like i know how much people take and i know that four grams is like a pretty decent amount we smoked the joint and we were in this whole new world and i was loving it i was like having such a good time the music was sounding amazing everything was good and i was like yep yeah, this is good stuff Abby, on the other hand, started to get really overwhelmed and she just kind of wasn't too sure of what was going on. Everything was very intense for her and keep in mind this is only like her second or third time tripping and especially having like four grams and smoking this huge joint. She was not used to the sensations and the, the, the feelings and thoughts that she was having at all. So she started getting quite overwhelmed and I was like, look, let's just go and lay in the car. That's why we have the car. We had our little bed set up as you guys saw just in case we did feel overwhelmed. So I was like, let's just get in the car and lay down and just chill out. She was still quite overwhelmed. And basically I was like, well, okay, so this is my duty now. I'm gonna have to be the responsible one and, you know, help Abby through this situation. Basically I was just trying to talk to her, like remind her about reality. She was saying that she had kind of like a loss of sense of reality and she just wasn't quite sure like, you know, what she was doing here or anything like that. And I was just kind of trying to remind her of, you know, what we do together, the fun that we've had, some times that we've spent together. I was reading through my little journal, trying to remind her of things that, um, you know, will kind of just bring her back to her reality and, and her life. Um, and in my head, I was like, whoa, <laughs> like what is going on? Um, but you know, it was good. I'm happy I was there for her and I got to take care of her and help her through all of that. I had it for like three months, three weeks. Whoa.
I just don't want to look at the screen. I just think that because I think mm. Sienna's tripped with her. Yeah, trip. Did your phone just die? Yeah. Wasn't it on ten percent? Yeah. So my car broke down. So my car just stopped working. The battery went flat, and my car was beeping, beeping, beeping. And I was like, "What the hell is going on?" And I tried to turn the car on, and the car was not starting. And I was like, "Okay, I don't know much about cars, but I know that the battery is flat." And this is just great because we were in Wollongong, which is like an hour out of you know where we live, kind of in a mountain, in this really random secluded place. And I was like, what the hell do we do? And this is when I kind of started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, like we're stuck. Like, don't know what to do now. I physically can't function right now because although I was okay and I was taking care of Abby, I was still, you know, tripping quite hard as well. And basically she had to calm me down and just be like, look, this is not something we can deal with right now now obviously like we're both tripping like really hard so let's just wait until we're not tripping anymore and then we can figure out how to fix the car like it's not something that needs to be done right now and I was like true you're right this is why I like you and basically we just kind of laid in the back of the car until we felt a little bit more sober <laughs> and basically they came they fixed the car and it was all good there was a, f a bit of a moment where I before I realized Abby was kind of not in a good place where I was playing Pink Floyd um, shine on your crazy diamond part one to six if you guys don't know that song get on it it's some good shit um, and I was playing that song and I was laying in the back of the car before I knew that Abby was kind of not okay and I was just laying there and I was like, yes, like <laughs> this is the stuff. I was just like, I also felt kind of disconnected from reality and disconnected from my body. I didn't feel like I had my body at all, but it felt nice. Like it felt good and it felt really comforting. And I felt like connected to the source, to the one and connected to the universe and just everything. Um, and it was a really, really beautiful, intense, very, very intense feeling. And I did get to kind of grasp a snippet of that feeling um, at the peak of my trip. But then I was kind of smacked out of it because I realized my best friend was next to me and she was like, help me. Like, <laughs> That's basically the last trip, guys. Um, I am planning on doing an LSD trip, which is different to mushrooms. So mushrooms, obviously the natural plant that grows out of the earth. LSD is a chemical substance. And typically I wouldn't go for this option, but it kind of just came to me and I was like, do you know what? Why not? So I'm going to be doing that soon and I will keep you guys updated with how I go with that trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment if um, you have any questions. Let me know if you like these videos. DM me on Instagram at Life by Taylor if you want to chat about your experiences. I would love to know. Okay guys, bye!